And I have made the assumption that we're going to cover off all the legislation around Australia so that for those of you who work both here in Victoria and across Australia, we're going to be able to give you a bit of a flavour of all of those different things. What we're trying to do is to give you a bit of an understanding of the health and safety legislation, a little bit of understanding of workplace hazards and the kind of things that we look at when we do design reviews, um, the kind of issues and how we go about running those design reviews. Actually, it's what it's aiming to do, what the legislation has always aimed to do, is to engage designers into thinking about things that could be addressed at the design and planning stage that will make a difference to the health and safety of workers. The BCA, of course, is its own form of legislation, but from a health and safety perspective, it's considered to be subservient. And there are a lot of legislation which is subservient to health and safety legislation. And stuff gets lost in translation. And what they've tried to do in terms of this is to deal with the issue around lost in translation and making sure that people are given information when it's needed and it's current. The difference with is really when it comes to the maintenance and operation and cleaning and all of that stuff. And it is the detail stuff that comes into play. Um, traditionally, anything to do with access was given, was considered pretty ugly, but um, really some clever stuff which is happening now and I'll just quickly go